Let's get back to our exclusive interview this morning with Boeing's chairman and CEO, Dennis Mullenberg. It's stock price continuing, continuing to soar. Jim and I asked him as well about the impact of tax reform and the potential of a trade war with China. Here's what he told us. This is one of the best things that's happened in the last few months is the passage of tax reform. You know, frankly, I'd like to thank the administration in the Hill for getting that done. Uh, we said this was the biggest thing we could do in this country to unleash economic energy, and we're seeing it. It's allowing us to reinvest in our product lines, and it's helping us compete effectively around the world. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because there's a there is a perception uh, that companies such as yours would just use the money for buyback. Mm. You've got a great buyback for dividend. You've always had a great dividend yeah. uh, under your administration and previous. But I see you building a huge number of planes, which yeah. means plant and equipment and putting people to work. Absolutely. We're reinvesting in the business. Right after tax reform was passed, we announced a $300 million investment in our business, training for our people, advanced digital training, investment in veterans in our communities, and then also investment in innovation, factories, plants, growing our production lines. Uh, future products, future services. But on, on, the con, on the conference call, and as is often the case in these things, uh, in, in this debate recently, people will say, well, you are going to do that anyway, weren't you? I mean, of course your R&D was going to increase as a percent of revenues. It might even increase given all the benefits you're talking about to your business, your capex. People want to know how much more incrementally are you spending as a result of tax reform? Yeah, this, this is billions of dollars over the next several years, additional billions of investment. So you're right, we were already ramping up as a uh, percent of revenue. When you think about future product lines, our ability to ramp the 737 production rate, as I said, and make the capital investments to do that. We also made a decision to take the 787 Dreamliner program from 12 a month to 14 a month. So our ability to capitalize that, to ramp up production, and then invest in the next generation product lines, it's all enabled by tax reform. And I can tell you the number one thing we're doing with tax reform benefit is we're investing in innovation, investing in growth. That's going to create manufacturing jobs in this country. I wonder if you're concerned at all about the increasing rhetoric uh, between the U.S. and China and the real possibility mm -hmm. of a trade skirmish, if not an all-out trade war. Um, it would seem to me, were that to occur, it would not be particularly good for your business. It's some we're keeping a close eye on. We've had very good dialogue with the administration as well as with our Chinese customers and the Chinese government. I think it's important that we have a balanced approach to trade with China. Certainly, we need fair trade, fair competition. But if you look at the China market from an airplane standpoint, those 41,000 new airplanes, more than 7,000 are in China. It's becoming the world's biggest airplane market. Uh, about and you would one, expect that to continue, I would think? We, we do. About one-third of our 737s that we roll off our U.S. production lines today go to China. So we, uh, we have a big export business. Uh, the aerospace sector creates about a $90 billion trade surplus for the U.S. every year. But a big part of that is China. So it's important that we have a productive relationship with China. And uh, free and fair trade is important and a balanced approach to so it. So fair to say it's something you watch closely, I would assume. Something we're keeping a close eye on, yeah. Dennis Mullenberg, uh, chairman and CEO of Boeing. You know, we don't perhaps talk enough about China. Uh, it's no. The risk, well, it's something that needs to be watched closely. He's, of course, watching it closely. But the continued relationship we have with China, what this administration does in terms of trade, what their response will be. One third of all 737s, Jim, go to China. One third of them. I, I think you're absolutely right to focus on it. Uh, one of the better moments in the, in the terrific Applied Materials Comms call was the idea, listen, um, we see a steady ramp of spending in China, which is positive for Applied because of our strong and growing market share in China. High service penetration, both multinational and domestic manufacturers. If you're Applied Materials, you don't want to lose that edge. No. Uh, it is one of those geopolitical stories, those macro stories that we have to keep a close eye on. And we'll know. The we'll, question is, if there's a skirmish, will it really lead to an all-out war, or will it be very much contained? Well, we're still waiting on um, some sort of steel news. But yep, we are. Steel is a very small industry in our country, but vital. That's one of the, with the defense industry. In the meantime, David, you know, if those who are chartists are looking at the stock of Boeing yes. and saying, you know, here we are. Uh, we are just nine points away from the high. Will this take it out? Still yields uh, almost 2%. So I, I have to tell you, David, I, I look at Boeing, and it is still this market's leader. Nothing has changed. Nothing.
Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.